Hey you guys, I'm back again. I'm just recording a video here. This is my newest and latest bird. Hope you can tell kind of what it is and get a distinction of what bird it is just by looking at its bottom. But I think I'll show you guys. This is what I've been hard at work on. This is my greater horned owl. It is a painting of an owl, painting for a sculpture of an owl that I have recently completed. And I, am, I, have, I have to say I'm very proud of how it came out. I'm here sort of in my studio slash art gallery right now. <laughs> but um, a lot of impressionism has gone into this painting and finishing it and proofing this painting into what you see it is now. Um, what I basically used here is oil paint, watercolor, spray paint, clay, canvas paper, wire, um, and a lot of spray paint and oil paint and acrylic painting here is what I basically used and wire to hold the wings and everything together in place as you can see there. You know. Um, I wanted something that looks like an owl, but different from an owl. So, you know, as you know, if you guys see my other pieces, I like to do my pieces a certain way. And I have a, a form of how I like having them done. This here is how I do my pieces from now on. When you look for the squares and the circles, you'll basically be able to tell it to me. So this is my way of of consistently making my art. So I found a niche and a way that I like to do my paintings. And that was it, you know. This is the side view here of the owl. This is the other side view. And this here is a part of the wing here. I figured this would be interesting to have that there as an extra. When I originally did it, I wasn't really feeling how it came out, but when I, once I attached it to the wing and glued it down, I kind of fell in love with how the wire attaches to the wing, and it's sort of like floating here. It's not like attached, attached to the, to the bottom of it, but I used the wire and canvas paper and construction paper that I use to basically bind the things together. And it's an extremely detailed work as you guys can see. I am extremely proud of this owl. I might add some more details on this thing in the future. So this is my piece here that I've been working on for about, I'd say two and a half to three months. It is titled The Greater Horn Praying Owl. And uh, I have to say, I love the way it came out. And that is it. Bye.